The anti-aliasing options min level, max level, and threshold have a great effect on your render times and quality. In this quick tip, I'll present a few details about these settings which you can use in your standard renders to improve your quality and optimize your render time. If you're new to anti-aliasing and or you're interested in a detailed technical explanation of how anti-aliasing works, then you should stop watching this and go look at Patrick Gosky's excellent tutorial, Render Settings Anti-Aliasing. So go ahead, take a few minutes and check that out. All right, now let's say you did that, welcome back. Don't worry if Patrick's video was a bit confusing. I'm going to try and simplify it for you using this animation, which has an AA min level of one by one, a max level of four by four, and a threshold value of 10%. These are the default values of the best anti-aliasing. And note the render time, about one minute. Now, you may have heard that increasing this setting, min and max level, uh, improves the quality and reduces your jaggies. And this may be true, but that would have the worst effect on your render time because it turns off the intelligent or adaptive behavior of anti-aliasing and forces every single pixel to be calculated four times. So uh, here is what that looks like, and now the render time is almost three minutes at two minutes and 50 seconds. Now, of course, this looks much better than the default values, but it took almost three times as long to render. And this is without that adaptive intelligent behavior. Now, this adaptive behavior works when there's a different minimum level and a maximum level. And uh, so this way, the lower quality uh, or min level is used for the less detailed areas of the scene and the max level is applied to the higher detailed areas of the scene. Now the threshold value controls uh, how likely a pixel is to be anti-aliased one time or four times min level, max level, respectively. The rule of thumb here is the lower the threshold, the more pixels will be anti-aliased using the max level. Uh, and then the greater the threshold, the fewer pixels will be anti-aliased using the maximum level. So basically, if we render with identical settings in the min level and max level, then every pixel is calculated the maximum number of times. Now, if I set the min level back to 1, leave the max level at 4 by 4, and set the threshold now to 0, then Although this suggests every single pixel will be calculated the maximum number of times, because the minimum level is 1, only the areas of the scene with something visible will be anti-alias 4 times. So if I understand correctly, this means that the black or empty space in this scene will only be anti-aliased 1 time, while all the others will be anti-aliased 4 times, the maximum level. Here's what that looks like. And the render time now is about a minute and a half, and it looks just like the render that took twice as long to finish. Here's a breakdown of everything that I just showed you. Uh, I hope this helps you better understand min level, max level, threshold, and uh, thanks everybody. If you're interested in personalized training or project assistance, visit cineversityoneonone.com. And visit Cineversity.com for more great tutorials and resources.